It starts with a simple irritation, a small inflammation, a sudden congestion, infrequent indigestion, or peculiar ache, all followed by a little pill for good old time's sake. Because these symptoms are so commonly expected and external solutions so conveniently sold, a busy mind ignores body's calls to be protected and accepts what it's expertly told. Then symptoms transmutate and begin to exasperate. Constipation is irrationally persistent. Anxiety forever insistent. A blind request for a diagnosis comes back with an alarming prognosis. It's arthritis, appendicitis, bronchitis, colitis, cystitis, gastritis, or hepatitis. As the influx of symptoms perplexes, the warlocks await with the medieval hexes. At this point, there is still a choice that could have been made a long time ago to either start respecting the body and its natural ability to heal or to continue abusing it under an illusion that personal health is someone else's job. The human body is really tough and resilient, not so easy to kill. So they might say, you don't really need your tonsils, appendix, ovaries, prostate, colon, gallbladder, thyroid, teeth, kidneys, or uterus. We'll get them all out for you. If it doesn't work, we cut it out. You don't need it. We are in a business of cutting things out. How about the brain? Well, maybe partially, but you might die too quick. So we'll just send you to a specialist for that problem. These so-called solutions are touted as fast, easy, and necessary operations. But since when does removing a sick bodily organ ever cure that organ? Human health cannot be restored by destroying it one segment at a time. When finally sent home with, there's nothing more we can do for you, it becomes painfully clear that all the extraction, manipulation, and poisoning experienced were nothing more than a modern version of mental and physical torture. This choice wrongly assumes that someone or something other than the individual is responsible for their health. Many do choose to remain in this wonderland and continue to be managed by others, undergoing treatments that decrease the body's recuperative energy, hoping for an external magical shortcut without removing the root cause within. Once I understood that healing is an essential process constantly ongoing inside the body, I knew this was the only way to heal oneself. When the skin is cut, fingernail, a bone broken, muscle torn, or infection introduced, the human body, just like other organisms in nature, automatically goes to work fixing its injury. This healing function is an integral part of life, happening constantly on cellular level. But if it can't keep up with the rate at which damage occurs, that is when unease and disease begin. For healing to stay ahead of destruction, it is most important to stop wasting energy spent on eliminating toxins, stimulants, excess foods, and stress. Next, to further maximize the power of self-healing, it is equally important to optimize our life force energy in general. What are the basic requirements for a vigorous life? 1. Clean air, water, and food in proper amount. 2. A balance of exercise and rest so the body can absorb nutrients and strengthen itself. 3. Mental poise to sense, learn, reason, and make the right choices when it comes to the correct way of living. If I uphold these pillars of health, I will be the one holding the power over the efficiency of my bodily functions. In other words, the quality of inputs will determine the quality of outputs. Imagine that you have a battery inside. If you keep using its energy without recharging it, your physical functions will slow down. A red light starts blinking, showing 5% of battery life remaining. This is the first warning of imminent shutdown of your, well, just fill in the blank. Even though you're used to managing battery life on computers or cell phones, you might forget your own battery. So your hardware, the body, shuts down and goes to sleep, conserving what energy is left. 
Somehow, you manage to sleepwalk into the kitchen and consume a midnight snack laden with corrupted toxic data with a couple of viruses and self-replicating worms attached. Your body quickly hangs up a closed for repairs sign and blacks out. Could it be that your internal drive has built-in protection against such user error? In the morning, with energy restored, you wake up and immediately feel feverish. That is your processor overheating while it eliminates what caused your slowdown. Reboot, recharge, repair. You free up disk space, eliminating excesses beyond the body's needs. Rebuild directories, restoring good habits with a structured life, leading to your long-term realization. Clear caches, deleting self-destructive attitudes, memories, and traumas. Scan for malware, dumping toxic vices, and you know what they are. Caffeine, salt, alcohol, drugs, nicotine, etc. Remove unnecessary startup files, simplifying the daily routine, eliminating stress and worry. Update your browser with latest patches, strengthening the immune system by giving the body optimum nutrition and sleep to repair itself. Recharge, repair, recoup. After taking all these steps, I realized that it is much easier to prevent illness by avoiding its causes rather than trying to reverse the harm already done. So I made a commitment to myself to be kind and patient while watching for the body's red warning lights. Unnatural habits of overeating, overworking, overplaying, overdrugging all overtax the body. Anxiety, fear, nervousness, and other emotional overreactions also drain the body's healing energy. Studies into the placebo effect have demonstrated a real connection between the mind and the physical health. So I vow no more to mental distractions. It is a common practice in nature to continuously discard the unfavorable, leaving behind the favorable. If this choice is made for the body's well-being on daily basis, it will allow time and space for positive elements to proliferate Again, these include sleep, rest, vigorous exercise, fresh air, pure water, organic food, sunshine, and good mental attitude. Together, these provide the essential conditions for the body to detoxify and heal. If there exists causation between wrong actions and sickness, then there's also causation between right actions and wellness. It all starts with a desire to be free. And health is the foundation for true happiness and freedom.